fun. I'm so excited that you're here with me this morning. My name is Christine and I am an instructor uh, with the town of Oakville. Some of you might recognize me um, from Sir John or from Glen Abbey or maybe even from QE Park. So I'm really happy to be here and we're going to get started right away. You don't need to do anything else except sit, feel comfortable, and all I want you to do is what feels good. So if there's something that doesn't feel good, I don't want you to do it. You just sit back and relax. I want you to know one thing. I've got a cup of tea beside me. So if you've got a cup of tea or coffee or water beside you, feel free to take a sip at any point in time because you might see me do the same thing. In addition, there, this class is about 40 minutes. And so we're going to breathe at the beginning, breathe at the end, and in between, we're going to move using the chair. So here we go, we're going to get started. Let's start with just noticing our breath. Sit if you can with your feet fully on the ground. Plant your feet all the way on the ground and sit maybe with your back resting in your chair. Your palms may be up or maybe your palms are down. And just settle in as if you were gonna sit for a little bit and take a breath in through the nose as long as you're okay with that, as long as there's no sinus or congestion concerns, take a breath in. Part your lips and take a breath out. Let's do that three more times. Breathe in. Part your lips and breathe out. Let's do that again. Breathe in. Breathe out. I want you to settle into your breath. Breathe in. Open your mouth really wide this time and sigh. Oh. Nice. Now, I want you to just settle in your chair for a moment and just take a look around the room wherever you are. And I want you to just take a moment just to breathe in and just notice the breath, relax the back, relax your shoulders. So you can turn to the right, maybe turning to the left. If you'd like to bring your gaze forward again, lift your head up slowly gaze towards the ceiling breathe in as you breathe out maybe you're looking down tilting your just your chin or your nose down slightly inhale breath when you're ready come back to a neutral position so now you're sitting and here you are we're going to start today with the upper body so the head the neck of course the face the shoulders, the arms before we move to the legs. So let's get started by just doing a little bit of work with our face, okay? I'm going to take off my glasses in case you can't see. I want you to turn your eyes upright, just your eyes. So notice my head stays exactly where it is. Just turn your eyes upright, take a breath in. As you exhale, look down towards the ground. Let's do that again. Inhale, breath, look up. My eyes are looking up, my face is neutral. As you exhale, look down. Now bring your gaze back towards me, look straight ahead. Turn your eyes, just your eyeballs towards the right. My head is gonna stay in the same spot. Breathe in, stay here, breathe out. Now let's look all the way towards the other side. Breathe in, slow breath out, breathe out. Beautiful, bring your gaze back towards me, look forward again. Now I want you to squint, squeeze and furrow your brow. So squeeze as if you're angry, squeeze your facial muscles and then let go. Maybe a smile, squeeze again. Squeeze all of your facial muscles and then let go. Sit back, 
smile. When you smile, it affects the rest of your body. So a slight turn upright of the lips changes what's happening in our body. Nice. Now let's turn our gaze. I'm turning my gaze towards the right, actually my entire head. So gently turn your head towards the right side. Take two breaths here. Breath, breathe in and breathe out. Let's do that again. Breathe in and breathe out. Now I'm turning my head all the way towards the left. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. On your next inhale breath, turn your gaze forward. You're looking towards me again. Breath in and breath out. Stay here and breathe. Nice, here we go. We're gonna start moving the shoulders a little bit. How about that? Everyone shrug your shoulders up. Add shoulders towards your ears or add some tension. Breathe in, exhale, lower down. Ah, breathe out. Let's do that two more times. Breathe in, squeeze up. Ah, breathe out, lower down. It should feel good on the exhale breath. Nice. Now I'm gonna get you to do something for me. Reach your hands forward as if you were touching my palms. So what you'll notice if I turn my hand to the side is that my fingertips are reaching or reaching for the ceiling. So breathe in and breathe out. My wrists are at shoulder height, but if that hurts, lower your palms down. Breathe in and breathe out. When you're ready, can you turn your fingertips? An external rotation. Breathe out. Breathe in, back to neutral. Nice. I see someone's hands there. I see some hands. And breathe out. One more time, everyone. Breathe in. And breathe out. Turn out. Beautiful. Bring your hands back to neutral. Relax your shoulders. Let's do some rolls. Now, I'm going to do something. I'm going to turn my chair slightly to the side. You don't have to change your chair, but let's take a look at my shoulders for a moment. I'm going to lift my shoulders up and breathe in. And as I exhale, I rotate back and drop my shoulders down. Can we do that three more times together? Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, rotate back. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, rotate back. Breathe in last time. Exhale, rotate back. I love it. Can we now move in the opposite direction? I will turn forward again so you can see me here. I'm going to lift my shoulders towards my ears and I'm going to lift my hands up. Roll forward. I'm going to show you from the side. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, breath, there you go. Let's do that again. Breathe in, oh, breathe out. It gets right through to your upper back and your shoulder blades. Breathe in and breathe out, beautiful. Relax your arms and sit back in your chair so that you're comfortable. So just relax, breathe and just notice what you feel in your shoulders. Take some breaths here, take a sip of tea or coffee or water and sit back. We'll get to some more challenging stuff if you feel like it in just a moment. But tonight, for now, let's just get our bodies awake this morning. Let's just wake them up with some lovely stretches. From here, what I would like you to do is take your, take your right hand and place it on your hip, okay? Put your feet, plant them firmly down on the ground now I'm going to lift my left hand up, okay? I'm just going to do this for you because I think you need to see me a little bit better. So here we go. Left hand up. Here we go. And then I'm going to lean towards the right. Beautiful. Inhale, breath, come back to neutral position. Exhale, lean towards the right. We've got two more of these. Inhale, neutral position, beautiful. Exhale, towards the right. Come back to neutral. For good measure, maybe one more time. Let's just lean towards the right. Now look down. 
and then look up. Beautiful. Are you ready? Bring your left hand down or whatever arm was up in the air. Take it and place it on your hip. Other hand up in the air. Reach for the ceiling or the sky with your fingertips. Inhale, breath, breathe in. Exhale, hinge towards the left. Breathe in, come back to neutral. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, up. Exhale, hinge. Breathe in. Last one, here we go. Let's hinge, you don't have to hold your breath, but look up and then look down. Beautiful. Inhale, come back to neutral. Now your hands are on your hips. So keep them here for a moment. I'm gonna inch forward on my chair, but make sure your feet are nicely planted. Okay, actually what I'm gonna do for you is show you my toes. So give me a second here. I wanna show you my toes. So my feet, where is my feet? Maybe I'll push that back just a little bit more for you. Okay. My feet are firmly planted on the ground. My bottom is firmly planted on this chair. So I'm in an upright position. As long as you have no back concerns, I would really appreciate if you sit up so you're not slouching in your chair, but a nice elongated spine and sit here for a moment. Nice. Now, we're gonna put our hands back on our hips. Keep your feet where they are on the ground. Keep your bottom, your hips where they are on the chair, but twist your midline, your torso to the right. Twist, twist, twist. So not your shoulders, I'm not twisting my shoulder, but my midline. Twist a little bit towards the right, as if you're taking your belly button on a journey towards the right side of the room. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's do that again. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, breath, come back to neutral. Exhale, breath, twist all the way to the other side. Take a breath in through the nose. Oh, breathe it out. Belly button towards the left, breathe in and out. Two more of these, breathe in and out. Last one in and out, beautiful. Neutral position here, fantastic. Take your arms down to the sides, wiggle your fingers, open your fingers wide, close them. Open, close, open, close. You can hang them down here, open and close. Let's do a beautiful morning stretch. Reach your hands away from you as if you were tracing the sun with your fingertips. Breathe in, reach up. Look up if you can or look forward. Exhale, breath, bring your arms down. Let's do that two more times and a little bit faster. Breathe in, look up, breathe out. Here we go. Last time. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Okay, we're gonna add one more step here. So here we go. Inhale, let's bring our fingertips to touch or if, they, if that doesn't feel comfortable, leave your arms parted uh, at shoulder distance. I'm gonna now bring my palms together, hinge forward, and reach for either my toes or my shins or my knees. There we go, breathe in here. Now look straight ahead, keep your fingertips reaching for your toes, but look straight ahead, breathe in, breathe out. Nice. Inhale everyone, slowly come back, all the way up, take your hands back to the ceiling, reach, 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 reach. Interlace your fingers and flip your palms inside out. Beautiful. Now let's stay here if you can and hinge to the right. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, breath to the left. Inhale, breath up. 
exhale to the right. This is the last time. Shoulders might start to get sore. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Neutral position. Release your fingertips. Oh, sit back and just take a moment. Shake it out if you need to. Shake it out if you need to. Okay. If you're doing okay, I can't see all of you. Give a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know you're okay. Good. Let's start doing some work with our legs, if that's okay with you. And let me make sure of time. Yes, we've got lots of time to start with the legs. Now, once again, I'm not sitting all the way back in my chair, and I'll tell you why. So a little bit of information here. I need you to be grounded. It's good for stability purposes as we age that we feel grounded when we sit. So you'll notice in my classes, I will tell you a couple of things. Keep your toes and your heels on the ground. If you lift your heels up and only your toes are down, it sends a message of instability to the body. And if you keep your, <laughs> your heels down and your toes up, or if you cross your legs, it is not stabilizing to the body. So for the purposes of this class, as many times as you join me, to stabilize the body and bring back that connection of stability, we need the brain to connect to the muscles, right? So keep your feet all the way down, breathe in, breathe out, and you'll hear me tell you that all the time. So for those of you who love to do this, and I love to do this, every once in a while, uncross and put your feet down on the ground. Here we go, left leg rises up, for the purposes of this class, excuse the fact that I'm lifting up my foot. You might see my foot all turned to the side. Yes, so sit up tall here. My hands are either holding onto my chair or on my lap. Roll your toes three times in one direction and three times in the other. Okay, nice. Now, point and flex and point and flex and point and flex. That's it for the left leg. Lift up the other side. Nice. Roll your feet at the ankles three times in one direction and three times in the other direction whenever you're ready. Nice. And then stop. Toes to the ceiling. Point and flex. So this is flexion. Point and flex. Let's do that again. Point and flex. Beautiful. When you're ready, plant that leg down. Now sit back all the way in your chair now. Get really comfortable. Maybe hold on to the chair or hold on <laughs> to the arms. And I'm gonna ask you to sit back and lift up both feet. Point and flex. Your belly, you might feel your muscles and your, your abdominal muscles working here. Point and flex. Let's do this with breath. Breathe in, point, exhale. Flex, breathe in, point, exhale, flex, two more, breathe in, point, exhale, flex, one more, breathe in, point, exhale, flex, place your feet back down, nice. Now, we're going to do something else. Here we go. Taking our knees wide. So I'm going to take my knees wide and plant my feet down. So you might have to inch closer to the front of your chair in order to do this, okay? And I'm going to place my feet firmly down. So first of all, we're getting some work to the inner groin, which is always nice. So for some of you, your legs might be wider. And for some of you, your legs are going to be a little closer together. Now, this is where I'd like you to place your hands, not necessarily on your knees, but maybe on your thighs, or maybe you're holding on to your chair. And I want you to lift your heels off the mat, almost like a ballerina. Lower your heels back down. Lift your heels off the mat. Lower back down. One more time. Lift your heels off the mat. Lower down. Now sit back in your chair and lift your left leg off the ground. So foot off the ground and hold breathe in and breathe out lots of work through your quad muscle let's see what happens stay here for three breaths if you're okay with it breathe in breathe out breathe in you're just holding breathe out one more breathe in breathe out before you put that leg down extend push through the heel extend that leg nice you might feel your muscles start to shake and bend one more time and place your leg down other side so whatever side you were on 
just move to the other side. Lift up your leg and hold. So we're gonna stay here from this point for three more breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. You can also interlace your fingers and help your leg by holding here. Breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Are you ready? Extend your leg by pushing through the heel. Inhale, breath, exhale, bend, lift up. Nice, your quads are working. You're getting maybe a little bit of heat through here. Place your leg down. Now we're moving into a beautiful pose here. Bring your hands towards your heart. I was getting you prepped for this pose. So palms together, either placed on the heart like this or placed with your thumbs at your sternum. Inhale, breath, hinge forward. Maybe you're placing your elbows on your thighs. You're looking forward. For some of you, this isn't enough. You can bring your fingertips all the way towards the ground, all the way down. And if you can, that's okay. Make sure you feel stable in your chair. Look forward, don't look down. And if you have low blood pressure, remember, do not take your head lower than your heart. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Your inner groin is getting a nice, healthy stretch. Your back is elongated. Breathe in, breathe out. Don't stop breathing. Slow breath in, slower breath out. One more. Inhale, breath, exhale. When you're ready, bring your hands to your heart and slowly rise. Yes, your hamstrings, your quads got a nice amount of heat. Walk your feet towards one another and sit back and relax for a moment. Nice stretch. We're going to do a stretch for the back next that I think is really important and really wonderful and easy to do. So here we go. I'm sitting in a chair like you and I'm going to show you from the front and then I'm gonna show you from the side because if you join me every time, every class, this is one posture, pose, movement, whatever you wanna call it, stretch that we're going to do all the time. I'm going to take my right hand and place it over the back of the right side of my chair. And I'm going to inhale with my left hand and place my left palm on the outside of my right thigh. Or if I have a armchair, I'll place it on the arm of the chair. Okay, so let me turn so you can see what this looks like from the side. Notice my legs are in 90 degrees here. I'm holding on to the back of the chair. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful, tall spine. Now, inhale, look over the right shoulder. Look over the right shoulder. So everything is twisting towards the right. You don't have to hurt your neck. Now, I want you to focus on inhaling and growing through the spine. Get nice and tall. Exhale, twist a little bit more towards the right. Inhale tall, exhale, twist a little bit more. It's maybe one tenth of a millimeter towards the right. Stay here and breathe. From the front, it looks like this. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, sweep both hands up. Exhale. One movement, left hand over the back of the chair, right hand to the outside of my left thigh. Breathe in, get tall. Exhale, twist and hold. This is a spinal twist, a seated spinal twist. Breathe in, you'll feel this in the mid back, the lower back. If it's in the shoulders, you feel it. Relax the grip on your leg. Relax the arm that's holding onto the chair. Breathe in slowly. Breathe out even slower. I like to close my eyes. Breathe in as long as you feel stable. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's turn back to neutral position. Just come back to neutral. Relax the spine. Here's how we're going to relax the spine some more. Two options. Either sit in your chair and just sit back and breathe here, or you're going to hinge forward and I'm gonna hold on to opposite elbows 
and lower my head down and round my spine. From the side, it looks like this. Okay, my legs are in 90 degrees, which means my heels are underneath my knees. I'm holding onto my elbows. I'm rounding my spine. Those of you who do yoga a lot know that rounding the spine releases a little bit of the tension. Continue to breathe here. And when you're ready, come back to neutral position. Let's do what's called some cat and cows. Cat and cows are very common in a yoga class. Place your hands lightly on your thighs or maybe on just below the kneecaps, okay? Just below, I never want pressure on the knees. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna sit up, inhale breath, bring your collarbone forward, extend your collarbone. Notice that your shoulders will rotate back slightly. Bring your shoulder blades that are right here towards one another. Exhale, round. Three times. Breathe in, open up. Maybe looking up. Exhale, round. Can we do that again? Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. Last time. Inhale. And exhale. And then when you're ready, come back to a beautiful, neutral position. Fantastic. Now, we only have 10 minutes left, and I've got about an hour of activities left for us to do. <laughs> so I'm going to get us to do a nice stretch for our lower back because so many um, clients, um, everybody around actually that I know in my personal life is saying, oh, their backs, their backs. So here's something that's really great for the back. I'm going to give you an option one, two, and three for your legs. Option one for this is to cross your legs. So right leg over left at the ankle. Everybody should be able to do this, I'm hoping, without any pain. So that's the key here. Option two, remember I said don't cross your legs? Well, for this <laughs> movement, we're gonna cross right leg over left. That's option two, okay? Option three is to place my legs in a number four. It looks like a number four. So my right leg is bent at the knee, ankle is placed, right ankle is placed on the left leg. I flexed at the ankle, okay? Nice and tall here. So option one, what feels good? Your legs like this, your legs like this, or your legs like this, okay? I'm gonna start here and do this cross at the ankles for me. Inhale, breath, reach your hands up. Now, if you, this doesn't feel good, you can always bring your hands here. You can always bring your hands to heart. I will do this option. Inhale, breath, as I exhale, I hinge. Reach for me, reach, 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 reach. Breathe in. Breathe out, I'm reaching for your fingertips. Breathe in and breathe out. One more, breathe in. Breathe out, lower down, keep your head lifted above your heart if you have low blood pressure. Otherwise, round the spine. And then when you're ready, round up. That was for the lower back. Now, anyone who did this option, that's great, but I wanna show you the other two options really quickly. You don't have to do them. If I cross my legs and I reach up, I still get the same stretch. Woo, reach for me. And if I do option three, this one is most intense, okay? But I will reach up and hinge. Maybe I won't reach as far forward because I can feel it through my hamstring and my quad. And then I come out of it and sit with your feet on the ground, Restabilize the body, relax the back. Take three breaths here. Breathe in. <sighs> Sigh it out. Notice the difference between the left and right side. I can feel it on the right side. Feels like my muscles got a stretch. Relax your lower back. This was for your lower back. 
Let's do the other side. Left leg over the right or whatever is opposite to what you just did. Now, cross over at the knee is option two or option three, that number four that we made. Now this time, I'm gonna do option two with you. I'm gonna cross here, but remember you can stay at option one. Here we go. Keep your bottom, keep your sits bones planted in your chair. Keep your other foot that's on the ground, completely planted on the ground. Inhale, reach up, breathe in. Exhale, hinge, which means that you're not dropping your head. Reach for me, breathe out. Breathe in, stay here. Your belly is pressing into your thigh. Breathe out. Breathe in, reach for me, breathe out. Last one. Inhale, breath, exhale, round. As long as you don't have low blood pressure, you can round your head downwards. Keep breathing. And then when you're ready, oh, nice breath up, uncross your legs and sit. Take your bottom to the back of your chair. Really support your back here. Really support the back. I like to place a hand over the heart or two hands over the heart and really tap into your heart rate because that way I know you're focusing on your own body. Breathe in, slower breath out. Notice what you're feeling in your legs. Breathe in, you can keep your eyes open or closed here. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Beautiful. From here, I want you to sit with your hands on your thighs. So to finish off today's class, let me just make sure that I have the right time. Yes, we've got about five minutes and we need to sit in stillness for a moment. But before we do, I want to give you a somatic movement. I'm trained in soma yoga. It keeps everyone stable, balanced, and walking or using a walker or whatever it is, or even in a wheelchair, whatever it is you use for support in that position without ever getting any worse than where we are. So right now, I, when I sit, when I stand, I like to use the arms of my chair. So I want to make sure that I can stay doing that for as many years as I can. If I use a walk, uh, um, a cane, I want to use a cane for as many years as I can without having to do anything else. If I use a walker, I want to use a walker properly for as many years. This connects all of those. If I'm in a wheelchair, I want to make sure that I can still be mobile in my wheelchair for as many years as I can. So this always helps to connect the brain to the feet. And it's a great thing to do. So you have to stay seated for this though. You have to put your feet down all the way on the ground and place your hands on your thighs. Now, I don't want you to stand up. That's the first thing I'm gonna tell you. But what I want you to do is pretend you were gonna stand up. So press your hands into your thighs. As you start to reach forward as if you were going to stand up, you should feel the muscles in your thighs tighten Take a breath in, <sighs> relax, let go. Is there anyone who can give me a thumbs up if they, can, if they felt their, their muscles tighten? Yes, yeah? so place your hands on your thighs, not by your knees, far further back. Your feet are on the ground. Pretend you were going to stand up. Ugh, I'm gonna stand up, press forward, breathe in, exhale, relax. Three more times, breathe in. Pretend you're gonna stand up. Exhale, relax. Breathe in. Exhale, relax. We've got two more. We're doing two more. Breathe in. Press down into those feet. Pretend you're gonna stand up. Don't lift your bottom off the seat. Exhale, relax. One more. Inhale, press into your own thighs. You're reaching as if you're gonna stand up. Your legs are, all your toes are pressed into the ground and relax. I can actually feel the work so much 
that my feet feel a little tired. Relax and settle into your chair. Notice your breath. Breathe in. Feel your belly get bigger. Exhale. The breath leaves us. As you inhale and you breathe in, the diaphragm actually moves slightly so that our bellies can fill up. If you don't feel your belly expanding, don't worry about it. It's okay. Exhale, release that breath. Some of you can feel it in your chest. That's okay. Breathe in. Gentle breath. Breathe out. Breathe in. Sit back in your chair. Relax. Keep your feet on the ground. Breathe out. Maybe you're closing your eyes for a moment. Breathe in. Breathe out slowly. Now I'm gonna count for you. Breathe in for one, two, three. Breathe out. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in. One, two, three. Breathe out. Five, four, three, two, one. One more time with me. Breathe in. One, two, three. Gentle sigh out. That's it for today. I believe we are at time. Um, we're right on time, I believe. I hope that was good for you. I've started off really easy today. I've given you, oh, I see someone clapping their hands. You've used a little sign, thank you. I've started off easy. I'm trying to make sure that this is great for everybody, but this is what I do in my own home for me and with those of you who are in classes with me all around Oakville. So I hope you'll join me on Thursday mornings. We'll do new fun things. Don't forget your water. Don't forget your, <laughs> your coffee or your tea. Don't forget your smiles. And if you're not feeling too happy, I hope you feel better by the end of the class. And in order to finish class, I just want you to say, I honor the fact that you were here with me and spending time with me. I am so happy. Thank you. Thank you. I see Pam. I see some other people writing little notes. And thank you. I look forward to next Thursday. So I'll be here as long as you're here. So and a great thank you to Daniel and the town for asking me to do this. I'm so excited. I don't know if you can tell. As I say in all my classes, there is no other place I would rather be. This is it for me. This is, this is what I love more than anything. <laughs> Thank you so much, Christine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a so, good day. Thank have you. a good day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Louise. Thank you.